So this is a meditation on meeting people from your soul and helping them recognize that in that moment of meeting that they can expose their souls to your soul and it'll be safe for that to happen. And thus, the spark of God that you are meets the spark of God that they are. And there is love, there is peace, there is joy, there, there is recognition of something phenomenal, a literal miracle has happened that has, has seemed to be so implausible in our, in our fearful tribal competitive world of distrust and projection. If you take a slow, deep breath of light and love into your hearts, into your minds, into your bodies, into your souls, direct from spirit. And if you find in that light of love and kindness and care, co-creative possibility, generosity, grace, if you find in that light of grace, understanding, beyond understanding, wisdom beyond words, wisdom beyond mind, beyond logic, beyond personality, beyond ego, beyond tribe, beyond biological drives. If you find in that light and love of spirit, total peace, total equanimity, no attachment, no aversion, a generous co-creative possibility waiting to be born collaboratively with others. And if you abide in that light, in that understanding, in that wise joy, in that bubbling spring of co-creative possibility that is flowing constantly, if you're simply willing to step into it and immerse yourself in it, and from that space of infinite possibility, if you observe the world, if you observe other people, if you observe their ego processes and tribal processes without reaction, simply observing them for what they are, they're not problems, they're process, they're life dynamics. And then still from that point of calm, peaceful, equanimous light in your heart, that, that light of constant and forever unconditional love. If you observe the light of their soul as where it can be seen through their heart chakra, it might have a veneer of karma or fears or defensiveness. That said, if you focus on it with absolute precision, you'll see it. From this light of your own soul and spirit operating in concert, from that vantage point, you can see their soul. If you can see their soul and stay focused on it, single pointed focus on their soul, then you have single pointed focus on the spark of God that they are. It doesn't matter what their wrapper is. It doesn't matter their age. Uh, their their gender, it doesn't matter what country they're from, it doesn't matter their religion, none of that matters. Their past wounding doesn't even matter. All that matters is that absolute single pointed focus on their souls and meeting that light with the light of your soul and being willing to blend those lights, being willing to be one with their soul in that moment of meeting and to experience that limitless joy, that limitless happiness, that limitless possibility in that moment of, of recognizing spark of God, recognizing and meeting spark of God, expression of God, meeting and blending with and dancing with expression of God and doing so joyfully and with a lightness, a fun, a frivolity, a happiness, a, a 
a realization of infinite positive possibility and optimism and projecting no limitation onto the dynamic whatsoever with no thoughts or feelings of, oh, they're going to judge me or, oh, they're going to criticize me or, oh, they might abandon me or, oh, it might not work out well. None of that is part of this process. Only God meeting God, soul meeting soul, love meeting love, co-creative possibility dancing with co-creative possibility endlessly forever and ever and ever. Enjoy. If you abide in that connection, in that realized oneness that is, has occurred via choice and intention and in concert with spirit, and for good intention, for loving intention, for helping free all of humanity from the, the prior imprisonment in ego and fear and belief and projection and imaginings and distrust and com competition, to offer them the love that your soul has to offer in its purest form, without limit, without expectation, it's not an exchange and transaction dynamic. It's a giving. Here it is. It's all yours. Everything I have to give, everything I am, you get it right now for free because I love you, because you deserve it, because you're beautiful, wonderful, and perfect as you are. And you deserve to know it. And you deserve to be met with that absolute respect, honoring, unconditional love, now and forever, in every moment. If you hold that intention, hold that focus, willfully, courageously, consistently, without flicker, other people's souls will, their ears will perk up. They will recognize there's something there for them. It doesn't cost them anything. It's only meant to serve them humbly, joyfully, constantly, forever. I mean, when they when they realize that, they'll be far more open to your your communications. They'll they'll find a way, they'll build a way, they'll build the bridge somehow to get to that, to keep that door open, to keep that light flowing. If you breathe in that light, you breathe in that love and you recognize the absolute, unequivocal, unfiltered oneness of all souls and spirit that has always been the truth and has been so obscured by the drama, the distractions, the fears, the misunderstanding, the confusion, the competition, the hubbub of life. If you live in that light and that becomes all of your life, then you'll always serve, you'll always give, you'll always love everyone unconditionally, and you will receive that from their soul. And it's important to be willing to allow them to shine that light of love back to your soul to be open, accepting, and receptive because you deserve that light of love as much as they do. We take another slow, deep breath of light and love into our hearts, minds, souls, bodies, energy system. See it radiate outward into the world carrying these understandings that you embody, a graceful light that you radiate now and forever forward. With every breath, revivifying this intention, this co-creative possibility. We take one more slow, deep breath of light and love of spirit into our hearts, minds, souls, energy systems, and bodies. And hold it for a second and then breathe it back out in gratitude to spirit. 
for, for having this opportunity to meet each other, to be with each other, to collaborate, to play, to find joy together, to co-create the future together. We close this meditation with the sound of OM. Spoken in realized oneness. Oh.